Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git and general improvements of Eclipse 2021-12. Improvements that have been added since the last release in September 2021, three months ago. In the Eclipse 2021-12 Java IDE, Java 17 support is now built in. Java 17 is not only the latest version, but also the latest long-term support version, which certainly you don't want to skip. When creating a new Java project, you can select which JRE to use from a huge list that now goes up to Java 17, including the current long-term support versions Java 8, 11 and 17, as well as all other Java versions before and after. In Java 17, sealed classes have become final so that they can be used in production with no changes compared to the sealed classes of the Java 16 preview features. The Content Assist controls space, proposes sealed, non-sealed and permits. And there are quick fixes, control 1, for sealed classes. For example, to create a permitted class or interface that does not yet exist, to add a subtype to permitted types in the sealed supertype, or the other way around. To declare the sealed type as a direct supertype of the permitted type. Starting with Java 17, strict floating point semantics are always used. This means that the little known strict FP keyword no longer has any effect in Java 17, hence a warning now. Text blocks were already introduced in Java 15. There is a new nice cleanup function. In the Java Feature tab, convert string concatenation to text block. Text blocks are easier to read than concatenations of strings, aren't they? Such cleanup functions can be applied to one or multiple files or even projects in one go, which is a real time saver when you want to use new Java features in existing code. Most improvements and bug fixes in this release are independent of the Java versions you use in your project. The type filters for AWT and for Graal VM that were added and enabled by default in the last version caused overblocking of content assist proposals and have therefore been reverted. For example, for a swing J frame, the methods set size and set location were not suggested because these are inherited from the AWT window class. Instead, now only the AWT list is filtered by default. The type filters for AWT and for the Graal VM are disabled by default. Sorry for the inconvenience this may have caused. The content assist has been improved to suggest a lambda expression at places where a functional interface is expected. That's nice, isn't it? Speaking of lambda expressions, in the call hierarchy it is now easier to trace back calls done via lambda expressions. If there is a lambda expression, in most cases you want to trace back to where it is declared, rather than where the lambda function will be applied, which is technically where the functional interface method is called. In the past, only the callers of the functional interface method were shown. Now, two subnodes for both cases are shown, and you can choose which to follow. Where the lambda expression is declared, representing an instance of a functional interface, or to the callers of the functional interface method, which might contain false positives. When debugging, you can now label an object instance. In the Variables view, right-click, choose Set Object Label, 
and enter a label. With that, when the object instance reappears, it will be displayed in red with the label in parentheses. The Open Type dialog has been improved as well. When pasting a file location, the path and the .java extension will be truncated. And also a stack trace line like this one will be automatically trimmed to the qualified name. JUnit test cases that are records instead of classes are now also supported, which has been possible since Java 16. And in the Maven POM editor, in the POM XML tab, the XML editor was replaced. The look and feel is a bit different, but the cool thing is the code completion. For example, in the dependencies element, you can directly type something and use the content assist, control space, to add a dependency from your local Maven repository. The same works also in build plugins. Cool, isn't it? For a dependency version, you can get a list of all versions via the content assist. Removing the version and re-adding it using the content assist in Artifact ID adds the latest version. Typing dollar and the content assist proposes the available properties as variables. Apart from these Java-specific improvements, there are general platform improvements making coding in Eclipse easier, independent of the language used. There is a new view, Launch Configurations. Double-click Launch Configuration to run it. Via the right-click menu, you can also choose to debug or to profile it, or to terminate a running one. To add one to the favorites, edit it, and in the Common tab, add it to a Favorites menu. One of the highlights of this release is multiple text selection. In a text-based editor, when Alt is pressed, a click creates an additional cursor instead of moving it. With such a multiple cursor, you can type the same at different locations at once. Multi-selection works not only in text-based editors, but also in text areas, for example in the Git staging view in the commit message area. To end multi-selection mode, just click without Alt. In the Find Replace dialog, there is a new button, Select All, to get all findings as multi-selection. Besides Alt Click and Find Replace Select All, you can get a multi selection by turning a block selection into a multi selection. In block selection mode, having a selection covering several lines, use Edit to multi selection. In contrast to the block selection mode, in multi selection you can add line breaks. A smaller improvement is that in the Problems view, Double-clicking a problem without a path had no effect in the past, but now it will show the project of it in the Default Explorer view. By default, links are now opened in the external browser instead of the internal browser. You can restore the old behavior in the Preferences, General, 
Web Browser by selecting Use Internal Web Browser. The dark theme has also been polished. By the way, the startup speed has been improved a bit once more. On my machine, Eclipse 2021-12 starts about 400 milliseconds faster than Eclipse 2021-09. On Windows, the title bar of the window and of dialogues are now also dark, even when dark mode is not enabled on your system. And the Minimize and Maximize icons are no longer filled white, neither in the dark theme nor in the light theme, making them look a bit smoother. In the Git support, there is another highlight. In the Git Repositories view, in the right-click menu of a GitHub repository, there is now a Fetch GitHub pull request. And in the right-click menu of a GitLab repository, there is now a Fetch GitLab merge request. To select the pull or merge request, paste the number or paste the URL of the website of the request or use the Content Assist control space. If the number or URL is copied to the clipboard in advance, the dialog opens with a field already pre-filled. Instead of via the Git Repositories view, you can also fetch a GitHub pull request or a GitLab merge request via Find Actions, Control 3. A GitHub repository is recognized by the hostname github.com and a GitLab repository by the hostname containing GitLab. A self-hosted GitLab not using GitLab as subdomain has to be configured in the preferences. Version control, git, service. By default, for public key authentication, an SSH2 agent is now used, if available. On Windows Party Pageant, on Linux and on macOS, OpenSSH via Domain Socket will be used. To turn it off, go to the Preferences, Version Control, Git and uncheck Use Pageant or SSH Agent for SSH Connections. This feature is completely independent of the preferences in general, Network Connections, SSH2. In the JavaScript editor that is included in the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java and Web Developers, or otherwise can be installed as Eclipse Wild Web Developer, For variable, parameter, function and other references that differ only in one character from an existing declaration, a quick fix, control 1, will ask you now, did you mean, to correct it to reference the existing declaration. By the way, in the generic text editor that is used for JavaScript and other languages and formats, the rename shortcut has changed to Alt Shift R to avoid a conflict making it work also in the Java IDEs. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release December 2021. As usual, all IDE packages are offered for Windows, Linux and Mac OS and starting with this release also for Apple's M1 chip. Thanks for watching and happy coding!